How's it going everyone? Hope you're all well. Mr. Boulder here. Um, back today with a vinyl update. Um, picked up some stuff over Christmas and I uh, picked up some stuff since. Uh, not going to show all of it because it's quite a lot so I'll save some back for another video. Uh, you've seen a couple of these already because I did feature them in my uh, top albums of last year video. Um, so uh, let's get straight into it after a quick sip of coffee as per usual. First up today is one of the ones that I did show in my uh, end of year list, and this is Wayward Sons, even up the score. Fronted, of course, by Toby Jepson, the former Little Angels frontman. Uh, if you like Little Angels, you'll probably like these guys. This is very simple, straight out hard rock. Um, does what it says on the tin. Uh, third album from these guys. Really, really enjoy this band. I uh, loved them ever since I first discovered them. Great stuff on this. Uh, the title track's brilliant. Big Day, Sign of the Times, Faith in Fools, uh, Downfall, Looking for a Reason, Land of the Blind, They Know, The Party's Over. This is a great album. Just simple, straight up hard rock. If that's your kind of thing, you're not familiar with these guys, definitely recommend that you check them out. Comes a nice gatefold there with lyrics. And um, this one comes on very white vinyl there you go nice center rings there yeah great album really enjoyed this uh, loads of songs with catchy uh, melodies catchy choruses great guitarists good vocals really enjoy this one i actually had to uh get some nail scissors and scrape around the spindle uh the the center ring where the spindle goes because it barely fitted on the turntable at first and I mean barely, I had to push it back down on there. So off the side of that, I had to take it off, scrape around the insides with some nail scissors to make a bit more room. And that sits on the turntable perfectly, which is obviously all good, because it was a bastard to get on and off at first. But there we go, that's the first one. Wayward Sons, even up to score, excellent stuff. Uh, another one that I showed on my uh, best albums of the year video, The Darkness and Motor Heart. I love this album, really good. A definite improvement on their previous album, Easter is cancelled. This is just on standard black vinyl. Um, whether you like the darkness or not will come down to the fact if you can handle Justin Hawkins' uh, how high falsetto vocals. I obviously like him because I wouldn't buy their music, but not, it's not for everyone, that's for sure. Uh, but Welcome to Glasgow is really good. It's Love Jim, title track's fantastic. Um, Jesse's Girl, really like. Sticky Situations, uh, Eastbound, Speed of the Nighttime. Another great straight hard rock album. Um, great riffs, great vocals from Justin, good melodies. It's just an easy to listen to album, um, which is exactly what you want from these types of bands. You know, great album, uh, not doing anything sort of out of their comfort zone, and I'm absolutely fine with that personally. Uh, the Darkness Motor Heart from uh, last year, obviously. Really, really good stuff. Uh, better than their previous album. Really enjoy that one, just on standard black wax. So I've got for Christmas. This is the best of REM in time, 1988 to 2003. Had the CD for ages. And then I noticed this at a record shop a while back and um, stuck on the old Christmas list and I got it. And it's all good. Brilliant stuff. Um, these guys, obviously alternative rock. Uh, I think they were called college rock back in the States, back in the day in the 80s. Obviously crossed massively over to the mainstream. You'll know these guys are, even if you're not a fan. Nice 2LP set. Uh, gatefold there. And these are just on standard black vinyl. Uh, it's the uh, hype sticker that I kept. I stuck on the sleeve here. Just standard black wax. Uh, full of classic tracks. A glaring omission though, this hasn't got shiny happy people on it, which I find absolutely baffling to be fair. But there's still plenty of good stuff on here. Uh, Man on the Moon, uh, What's the Frequency, Kenneth, great song that is. Um, Losing My Religion, brilliant track. Orange Crush, Imitation of Life. Day Sleeper on a second LP, brilliant song. Uh, Sly One Sleeps Tonight, great. Stand, probably my favourite song on the whole album actually. Um, Everybody Hurts, brilliant, brilliant ballad. Um, that my most beautiful. And then it uh, ends on Night Swimming, which is just a beautiful piano-driven ballad. Um, lots of really, really good stuff in it that I really enjoy. 
One of those bands where I don't need all the albums, Best Of will do, and this does the job just nicely. Uh, the Best of R.E.M. In Time, 1988-2003, superb stuff. Been after this for a while, glad it's finally in the collection. Another one that was on my Best Of uh, albums last year, Exodus, Persona Non Grata. This is just absolutely brilliant. There is not a bad song on this album. I listened to it again just yesterday, and I absolutely love it. Fantastic artwork, uh, embossed sort of a lay logo there. Brilliant stuff. Nice gatefold, superb artwork there. And this is a two LP set. Uh, 45 RPM, just on your standard black wax. Superb stuff from these guys. Um, Tom Hunting's drumming on this is superb. He's only just got over cancer. Um, absolutely amazing stuff. The solo and the riffing from Lee Altus and Gary Holt is, as always, superb. Jax Gibson's bass sounds great. And Steve Zetro, Sousa's vocals, I think are absolutely brilliant. He's really pushed himself on some of the screams on this album. He sounds absolutely superb. It's just brilliant stuff. I absolutely love this album. And um, I wasn't disappointed. I mean, X has hardly ever disappointed you, let's be fair. But stuff on this, like um, Slipping Into Madness, Elitist, The Beatings Will Continue. Clickbait, The Fighter Division, um, Anti-Seed. There's just no bad songs on it. It's absolutely superb. For me, it's a 10 out of 10 album. Um, Blood In, Blood Out was good, but this one for me is even better. Absolutely loving it. Excellent thrash metal from the Bay Area. Exodus hardly ever let you down, and they certainly didn't let us down with this one. Superb stuff. Back now to some indie rock. Uh, and this is Stereophonics, and this is called Decade In The Sun. Uh, another one of those bands where I don't need all the albums, the best of will do the job just nicely. Had this on CD for a while, and this is one of those uh, albums you could just stick on, and when you've got a night in on Saturday night, just having a curry and a few beers, and it's all good. Plenty of stuff in here that everyone, well not everyone, but a lot of people, especially if you're in the UK, will know, because I don't think these have crossed over to the likes of America, etc. But a lot of songs there that you will know, even if you're not really a fan, because they've crossed over... I did start off as a rock band, but definitely sort of crossed over more to the indie rock scene as they went on. Great stuff on this. Fronted by Kelly Jones. These guys are from Wales. Might have mentioned that already. Can't remember. Uh, Dakota, first track. Great stuff. The Bartender and the Thief. Brilliant, brilliant song. Loads of um, great uh, sort of vocal melodies amongst this, this whole album. I really love that song as well. Uh, just looking. Great track. Have a nice day. Really enjoy that. Local Boy in the Photograph. That was from the first album. Really good stuff. Uh, pick Apart that's new. I love the uh, guitar riffing in that track. Uh, great chorus. I Wouldn't Believe Your Radio is a good track as well. Mr. Writer. Step on Wild Size Nines. Those two are quite slow and chilled and I really like them. Wasn't very keen on them when I first heard them, but I love them now. Um, a Thousand Trees is another track from the first album that's uh, more rocking than some of the other stuff. More Life in a Trams Fest. Great stuff. And ends with a cover of uh, Handbags and Glad Rags, which I think was originally done by Rod Stewart. Uh, yeah, there we go. Gatefold, nice photos there. Another 2LP set just on black vinyl. All I need from these guys, fantastic stuff. Great sort of chilled indie rock from uh, Wales. Stereophonics, all good. Decade in the Sun, great package. On to some heavier stuff now, and this is Frozen Soul, and they're encased in Ice album. I only discovered these guys about this time last year, and I'm absolutely loving them. Uh, they're their full length LP was superb, and this EP is very good as well. Um, wasn't too expensive, so definitely wanted to pick it up. Good stuff from these Texan death metalers. Uh, Encased in Ice, great track. Um, Witch's Coven, which is a mortician cover, is really good. Merciless is good. Hand of Vengeance is good. And on side B, we've got a cover of Mandatory Suicide from uh, the Slayer song. Which is okay, but for me, Decapitated's cover version pisses all over this one. Um, you've got Morbid Devourment, which is the Entombed song from um, what was the bloody album called? Clandestine, I think. And then you've got a demo version of Crypt of Ice, which is one of my favourite songs from the album. A nice little stopgap pickup here. Uh, eight track EP. I mean, for me, it's more of a mini album, really, with eight tracks on. But this is called an EP, so we'll go with what they say. Frozen Souls and Case in Ice. Some good mid paced uh, bolt thrower worship in death metal. Superb stuff from these guys. Uh, looking forward to more albums from them. Up to Scotland now. And a Coffin Mulch. Septic Funeral. Excellent cover artwork here. 
Um, I didn't even listen to this. I saw this being shown by, I think, Mark G with a C. Um, definitely Lee and the Death Doom Metalhead. And uh, John over at Rock Metal Plus. It was actually John's post that alerted me to the fact that this had been reissued. Because um, I'd looked for it before, but it was just always sold out. And John showed this, um, I think it was on one of his videos, or it might have been a post on Instagram, saying that it had been repressed. So I jumped on it straight away and picked it up because it's hard to get hold of. This is great. Uh, Mid-paced, death metal, death doom. I'm definitely getting an autopsy vibe from these guys. Um, but definitely with the Swedish guitar tone sound, the old HM2 guitar sound. It's really good stuff. Uh, a mini album, just six songs. Really enjoying it. Title track's great. Uh, Live Again, Onward to Death, uh, the song Coffee Mulch. Excellent stuff. Yeah, I looked for this a couple of times, and both times it was completely sold out. So thanks for the heads up, John, that this has been repressed. Here it is. Nice red vinyl. Yep, good stuff. Um, I don't listen to loads of sort of death doom, but... Um, these guys did it really well and I'm really enjoying this uh, release looking forward to more from these guys from up in Scotland coffee mulch septic funeral is absolutely fantastic check out if you're not into your heavy stuff and you haven't heard it yet another best of and this is U2 and singles does what it says on the tin, I don't need to explain it obviously. Um, you 2 another one of those bands for me, apart from a couple of albums, a best of will do the job just nicely. Um, I don't really care for anything these guys have put out since about 1994, because that's when Bono disappeared up his own arse and hasn't been seen since. But back in the day, they were a really good band back in the 80s. Um, this is another gatefold. Great shot of the band. Uh, two LP set. Just on standard black vinyl. And this is packed full of songs that I absolutely love. I'm not going to lie, Side D is a little bit kind of, um, a little bit hit and miss for me, but um, everything else is really good. Uh, Beautiful Day, still haven't found what I'm looking for. Pride and Name of Love and With or Without You. First side on the first LP is all killer. Um, and it's the same with the second uh, side. Um, Vertigo, New Year's Day, Mysterious Ways, Stuck in a Moment You Can't Get Out Of. I love everything on that first LP. Superb stuff. And then on the second LP, on side three, Where the Streets Have No Name, Sweetest Thing. Sweetest Thing's okay. Sunday Bloody Sunday's a fantastic song. I absolutely love that song. Um, one, Desire. And then um, side four, you've got Walk On and Elevation. Elevation I really like. Uh, sometimes you can't make it on your own. The Saints are coming. That's with Green Day. And Window in the Skies. Side D is a little bit pony, I won't lie. But the rest of it is absolutely fantastic. I mean, there's stuff in there that I grew up on massively back in the late 80s when um, the Joshua Tree come out. You know, stuff like uh, Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For. I absolutely love that song. Bono's vocals and that are superb. Uh, Pride in the Name of Love. Remember that back in the mid 80s. Uh, New Year's Day is a superb song from their more earlier years. Um, Where the Streets No Name, another one from the Joshua Tree, it's fantastic. Sunday Blunny, Sunday, fantastic song. One, Desire. It's all good stuff apart from Side which is a little bit ropey. But I picked up for a good price, so I can live with that definitely. This is absolutely fantastic stuff. Really love the old stuff from these guys. Like I say, not really cared about anything I've done for the, most, for the best part of the most 30 years. But their old stuff is definitely where it's at as far as I'm concerned. Uh, that's you 2 and uh, singles obviously does what it says on the tin. Superb stuff. Great compilation. And one more today. I'm lucky to have an original press of this album. I picked it up about one or two years ago off of eBay. And it only cost about 30 quid, which I thought was a bargain because it's not easy to come by. And this came up a um, month or two ago for pre order. And I thought, you know what? I know I've got an original copy, but it's a superb album. So why not get another copy? And it's uh, the recent music on vinyl reissue for, of uh, Shattered Existence by UK Thrashers Zentrix. This is absolutely brilliant. There is not a bad song on this. It's a 10 out of 10 album. Superb stuff. Um, when it comes to reissues, music on vinyl always does a superb job. And I've done a superb job here, of course. A great album. Um, not easy to come by. Like I say, I'm lucky to have um, a copy, but I know a lot of people are were missing this one. 
a lot of people are very happy this is reissued. Nice insert here. Great picture of the band. Lyrics. As always, music on vinyl. Nice poly lined in a sleeve. It comes on a very nice red vinyl. Looks really good. Yeah, it's a 10 out of 10 album. No doubt about it. I absolutely love this. I mean, I only first heard these guys about four or five years ago. And um, it's just superb stuff. It's packed full of great riffs. Drums are superb. Uh, vocals are great. Is it Chris Astley? Yeah, Chris Astley on the lead vocals. Uh, Balance of Power on this has just got some superb uh, riffing in it, and it's a great chorus as well. Uh, no Compromise, first track, that's also brilliant. Um, back in the Real World, Crimes, Bad Blood, Reasons for Destruction, uh, Position of Security, Heaven Sent, the song Crimes. Nine songs, absolutely perfect. Not a bad song on there. An absolutely amazing UK thrash metal release. This was originally came out in 1989. Uh, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Uh, great reissue, as always, from Music on Vinyl. Um, I'm not sure if there's many of these left out there, so if you haven't got it, then you need to uh, hurry up and pull the trigger, because I'm sure they're pretty much going to be all gone soon. But uh, great reissue, as always, from Music on Vinyl. Centrix's Shattered Existence from 1989, a UK thrash metal classic. Right, guys, that's it for this week. Uh, cheers for sticking around to the end. Uh, get in touch, let me know what you think about these pickups. Um, hit the like button if you like this video and sub to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'll be back at you next week. Not sure what I'm doing yet, but um, until then, I'll catch you later. And uh, cheers for watching. See you later. Bye.